that where you thought you might land, and what are your thoughts on that seed in particular? I didn't really have any expectation. Um, you know, I, I'm not smart enough to know the difference between two seed, three seed, um, you know, region, all that stuff. We just uh, – and we did the best we could, and, and, you know, I'm proud of our team. You know, my coaching staff has done an incredible job all year long of um, turning the page and, and being ready for our next opponent and, and developing our players. And, you know, our players have had, um, you know, a, a great year. So, you know, it was really irrelevant, the two seed, the three seed. Um, you know, we're just happy to, to be continuing playing. You play Weber State on Friday. Do you have any familiarity at all with that? I, I don't know anything about Weber State. Just as a year ago, I didn't know anything about Ole Miss or BYU. I mean, it's thank heavens we don't play the game right now. Um, Weber State should feel the same way. You know, that's you know why we have four or five days to get ready to play on Friday night. And um, anytime you can win 26, 27 games like they did, I mean, obviously, um, you know, they've got a successful team. And a team that a couple of years ago played Arizona down to the wire. So, um, you know, we'll have to prepare this week to be ready to go on Friday night. What's the best team you coach? Um, can you ask me that in a few weeks? <laughs> uh, maybe, but. It's been the uh, most enjoyable team to coach. I, I do think we've been a, the most cohesive team that I've ever had. Um, you know, so yeah, I think in many ways uh, it has been the best team uh, that I've coached. It's been a really fun group, you know, and. We haven't won every game, and, and we've had some, you know, poor outings um, in comparison to what we've done the majority of outings. But, um, you know, they come back to practice the next day with a great attitude and, and a want to to get better. And, you know, it's, uh, it's been a fun group to coach. Are, are there traits beyond the obvious having lots of good players that, that successful March teams almost always have traits, ingredients, whatever? Well, I just I think that the tournament's all about getting hot at times, you know, and just playing your best basketball when it matters the most. And um, you know, we uh, that's what we aim to do. But um, you know, I'm sure matchups have something to do with it. But you know, we we only worry about what we can control, Paul, and that is uh, being ready on Friday night for Weber State, and, and, and nothing more than that. You know, I don't take the step back view of overall of you know why teams do well um we just sort of get in our tunnel and figure out a way to beat this team uh, that we play friday yeah i'm sure it's uh it's a huge factor I mean, it's what you play uh, all these games for is to get to this point um you know, but that doesn't put any more pressure on our guys. We've got a pretty loose group. Um, you know, pressure comes from within. You know, we, we, we're all competitors. The guys I have in my locker room are, are extremely competitive. And, and so it's, it's the want to, to um, for the self-fulfillment, not the outside pressure or expectation. We, we don't worry about that, just as we didn't worry about it at the beginning of the year when there weren't a lot of them uh, out there. And when, I, when I say them, I mean expectations. So... Um, you know, you, you are defined by, by how you play uh, in March in the NCAA tournament. Um, but uh, it, it won't take away the feeling that, I've, that I have uh, coaching this group. It's been a fun group, and uh, we're going to try to keep this thing rolling as, as long as we can. What, what keeps you up nights right now about this team and what has you resting? The only thing that keeps me up at night is Braden. You know, the, uh, <laughs> I learned a long time ago when I come home, I don't worry about basketball. You know, when I come home, I'm I'm dad, I'm husband, and uh, I may be a little different in that regard. I certainly watch film uh, at home, but um, you know, you can only control what you can control. And uh, you know, again, I think a lot of it is is the leadership within your locker room. Um, you know, that's that's all I worry about. Well, let, me, let me rephrase that. Then. What what concerns you about your basketball team on the basketball court right now? And what does it's usually game to game. You know, I thought we took some ill-advised shots against Seton Hall. You know, we, we, we could not get in a track meet with those guys and be successful. But yet we, we chose to do that, and that was to, um, uh, that was to our death. And um, I couldn't make, make it any clearer before the game, but, um, 
you know, we chose to go down a different path, and hopefully we learn from it. Chris, five of the ten teams in the conference are in the tournament. What does that say to you about the strength or uh, talent in the conference? Well, it has nothing to do with the, with the selection um, process and how many teams make the tournament. You know, I, we already understand how hard this league is, um, how committed this league is to big-time basketball, uh, the caliber of opponents you have from one to ten. Um, you know, it's uh, it's a monster league that we play in, and um, you know, hopefully, it's prepared us very well here for uh, games to come. Yeah, and I think that's probably what he meant is to, is to have an edge. You know, if you play comfortable, um, you know, he, he probably likens that to playing nonchalant. Um, you know, entitlement never wins in sports. And so, um, you know, it really uh, – seeds don't matter. I mean, it's what you do between the lines. And that's, that's probably what he means when he said teams that play comfortable. But I do think our team will play loose, will share the ball. Uh, that's how we've been all year. It's the personality of this team. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd agree with his assessment on that. For the better part of three months, you've been playing teams that you've been pretty familiar with from the Big East. Is it kind of an adjustment going to the tournament playing teams you're not familiar with, you haven't seen, and will you spend this week of practicing trying to catch up and become familiar with them or just work on what your team does? A little bit of both. I mean, it's refreshing um, to not play a team for, for the third time. Uh, it's just it, it wears on you. I'm sure every team feels that way. So th there's an excitement about playing, you know, somebody new. Um, and, you know, we'll use the beginning part of the week to really uh, work on ourselves and, and make sure that – and we'll, we'll use the entire uh, week, but we'll really start honing in on Weber State, um, you know, more on Wednesday and Thursday uh, leading up to the game on Friday.